Joining us now is the General Secretary, National Democratic Coalition, Nedako Ayo Okpadoku. Thank you very much for joining us. Good, good, good day. Good day. Good day, sir. Um, Can you take us through the Nedako struggle and why, over the years, it's been more of Southwest celebration until President Buhari recognized the day as a national holiday? Well, I must confess to you that Nadeko was a nationwide broad-based platform for credible campaign for restoration of democracy to Nigeria and for the convocation of a sovereign national conference. At its commencement, all the four corners of Nigeria were represented in its meetings. In fact, there was Malam Lawan Dambazo and two others from Kano. There was um, uh, uh, Alaji Muhammad, Muhammad Arzika from Sokoto. We had quite a number of people all over the country that concentrated in Nadeko. So it was not in a Southwest-based ma matter. It was an attempt by Abacha and his agents using all the government fund and security agencies to intimidate and silence opposition that led to quite a number of people withdrawing into their shell. But that did not deter those of us who are mindful of the state of the nation and what God has assigned to us to do, to be the voice for the voiceless, to serve the public interest to the best of our ability. Because once upon a time in the life of any nation, some people must be willing and ready to sacrifice even the uh, final sacrifice, that is martyrdom, to rescue their nation. And that was what Nadeko, uh, when Nadeko was, was established, that was what those of us who are in the vanguard decided to do and we were prepared for. Quite a number of people escaped from Nigeria at that time. Quite a number of them uh, decided to exile themselves. But people like me are the general secretary and spokesman. Knowing fully well that I will be oppressed, I will be humiliated, I could be detained, I could be killed. Insisted on staying in Nigeria. I was on the ground for five months before I was arrested. Even that, and that was about three months after Abacha's government had declared me wanted and I was to be produced dead or alive. So, and when I, I, I was arrested, I went in for 24 calendar months. Uh, it was October 1994, I was arrested and first released October 1996 at the first instance. Then I was rearrested in August, uh, sorry, in, in May 1998, and I was released. I was in Okoye prison when he died. Okay. The basic objective of Nadeko was restoring the Abiola's mandate and then the convocation of a sovereign national conference where in a representative assembly of the ethnic nationalities and other groups, we could di discuss the question of equity, question of justice, question of fair play, qu question of discrimination, qu question of protection and defense of the rule of law. Indeed, that have been I, 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 to I must totally interject. I must interject huh? first to say thank you so much for your sacrifice. Thank you for what you've done for this country. And then I'm going to ask you, um, due to time constraint, what is the link of Abiola's ideals and the restructuring, or call it federalism, you are demanding in your uh, recent press release? From day one, we believe that 
Nigeria was hijacked on 15th of January 1966. And the first casualty of any military takeover, any military insurrection, is the constitution upon which the existing government was structured. We secured Nigeria independence on a federal constitutional governance. The military abrogated and suspended that constitution and substituted for it decrease one to nine, which really was a centralist and unitarist uh, uh, a piece of legislation, concentrating all the powers under the commander-in-chief. And what that allocation always is that there are inequity, injustice, unfair play, discrimination, lack of defense, and protection of the rule of law. And given Nigeria being a, an heterogeneous society, the only constitutional framework that could work here is a federal constitution because we have different religion, different languages, different cultures, different traditions, different artifacts, different folklores, different mores, different morals. All right. In the federal constitution, all these are given free reign, but all of us will be united at the center. All right, the center sir. is not supposed to be the master of the component unit. I apologize to that keep, is what, um, that, that I is keep... what fe fe federalism means. But I... that is all that the military had buried. And that is what is creating crisis. And we are insisting that we should return to the federal constitution upon which we secured our independence. The military never asked us for what, what they are doing now. We are being governed by the military now for 46 by the time uh, Buhari finished his second time, we could have been governed by the military either in uniform or in, in mufti for 46 All right. out of 60 pa Ayo, independence I, I, I actually need to yes. interject because we are constrained, time constrained. So I would need you to, if you can, in about 40 seconds, um, talk to us as a nation. Um, what are some of the um, dividends of that June 12 struggle that we are yet to implement and we must do so if we are to thrive as a nation, if you can. I know it's a short time. Thank you. When President Buhari gave Abiola the highest uh, uh, national honor last year, Nadeko spoke to him straight that giving Abiola the GCFR was a beautiful thing. But June 12 represented more than that. It represented a, 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 a fundamental dimension. That if Abiola's victory had been actualized, it could have meant that every Nigeria was a stakeholder and everybody was equal. But by the fact that a small clique of military jackboots annulled that election and did not allow Abiola to rule, what it meant is that some people are superior, other people are inferior or second or third rate citizens. So the fact that that had not been corrected remain like an albatross on Nigeria. Nigerians. Giving Abiola a national honor it is not an end itself. That's why we are calling that we must return to federalism. We are not talking about restructuring. Federal, we secured the independence of Nigeria on the federal constitutional governance. That is what we must have. And okay. I must tell you, the military had not allowed the Nigerians to have an homegrown, all-inclusive constitution that you call autochthonous constitution. All they have been given to us, like in 1979, was a, a decree. Okay, so basically you're in saying... In 1999, we, we really there was need another, to... dec another decree called Con 1990 Constitution M Mr. by uh, Decree Okpazo 34. We, we have not written our own constitution. We, we, we are out of time uh, for this segment on the news, but I must say thank you very much for your input uh, today.